Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. What the fudge? Seriously, bro. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to an issue with the F-150. This one's weird. Uh, but I bought a high mileage F-150 for a reason. So I could fix it and help you guys out by making videos on what I've done. So this is a weird one, but apparently it's a very common problem. And uh, we'll get into that. But it's the rear window. There's a gap because the window is falling inside the truck all right guys so a little while back i started hearing a whistling a couple of weeks ago coming from the back and i'm like man one of them door seals must be bad so i got in here and i'm looking around and i'm like no nothing's no seals bad i thought it might have been the panoramic roof nope that looked all good finally it got really bad one day and uh i'm like what in the heck is that so i climbed back here and <laughs> fucking window look at this look at that look at that what the fudge seriously bro i was like my son okay so yeah it's just coming in because the track come off and guess what this is a common problem this track is held on by double-sided tape Right here, there's a couple spots. There's four spots on this thing. So basically, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna rip this off the whole way, clean off the old tape, because it's only held on by this corner now. And, I mean, look, I mean, the wind, look, yeah, come on, what the? Well, that's a problem. Yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna take that off of here. You can see, you can see the tape right here. Four little tiny pieces. So let's do this, okay? This should be an easy fix, as long as I got double-sided tape. Oh, there. So, and there's also, well, this is like a seal. I don't, that might have been adhesive, like windshield adhesive. I don't know. It's weird. Either way, it's not working, so. I'm gonna start by cleaning. I'm gonna go get a razor blade. Obviously be careful because you got your defroster lines, which half of mine don't even work. But uh, I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna take off this. No, well, yeah, probably because you look on here and you got, you got a couple raised edges. Um, so basically just the tape kind of wore out. That's all it did. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, I'm wearing pajamas, sorry. Um, yeah, let's get her cleaned up, ready to go. So like I said, you have this little seal here as well. Um, I'm guessing that this is like windshield sealant and I have some, so I'm gonna put a little dab along that as well, along with the new 3M tape. And I just happen to have Gorilla, two-sided Gorilla tape on hand, so that's the only reason why I'm not using 3M tape, because that's what I got right there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I got all the old adhesive off, I probably should prep it better than that, but I'm not going to. I'll use some isopropyl alcohol on that weather stripping adhesive so that's what i'm gonna use just a little shot of that i think we'll be good okay so i've got the four pieces of 3m tape double-sided tape gorilla tape whatever now i'm gonna put a thin layer of weather stripping adhesive across the whole thing and uh then we'll go put it in the truck Okay, ready to go on the truck, I suppose. Woo, here we go. I'm gonna be in the way, but I wanna make sure I get the window in the proper groove first. 
And I got stuff all over my hands already. How fun is that? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, got it all over me. Oh well. So, I'm gonna try and obviously make sure it's even. Or centered, I should say. I'm not sure how big of a deal that's gonna be, but if I eyeball it, hopefully it won't be a big deal. I keep going back and forth. Okay, that guy there, that guy there. I think we should be good. Here goes everything. Now, the big thing is going to be how do I keep pressure against it? All right, well, I'll figure out a way to like hold pressure on it or something. All right, y'all get a kick out of this, but this is how I got this set up. Good old fashioned redneck style right there, but there's decent pressure, not a whole lot, just enough to keep it up there. And I'm gonna let that sit as long as I can. And then I'm going to hop in the passenger side. And I am going to turn the ignition on and just cycle that window just to make sure it's okay. Yep. And hopefully it is. Hmm. Sounded a little rough, but hey. probably because the boards are just a little snug against it but hey it works so that's all there is to it all right uh once this is dry for a day i will check back in with you guys and uh give you my final ideas and what it looks like so luckily for you that's right now all right here we go back at it it is the next day and my contraption has been here curing overnight so i'm gonna take these boards out of here and we're gonna check and see how everything held up. Oh, she's up there, secure. Let's uh, turn the ignition on and watch the window. Well, right after I put my seat back. Cause that's not how I sit. All right, here we go. Works great, cool, there you go. That's how to fix your rear window. Uh, hopefully it holds up, but uh, I don't see why it wouldn't. I mean, I use that adhesive along with that 3M tape and uh, looks good, honestly. Everything's nice and flush out here as it should be. All right. Well, if you guys have this problem, it's a pretty simple fix. Just give yourself enough time for that to cure or whatnot and wedge some boards in there or whatever you can do to keep it up there while that adhesive dries. Um, and then, you know, obviously prep the surface really good, get all that old crap off of there. But hopefully this video helped you guys out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Later. Later.